Well, in the context of providing uh, water systems for resilient and livable and sustainable cities to meet climate change and population growth, towing icebergs wouldn't be top of my priority. And yet there are some who see that as the silver bullet. Because it's getting hotter. No, it's not a joke. Uh, it, Cape Town got an expert to have a look at the feasibility of towing icebergs. I think that's the problem. Some people think their solution is the best, whether it be a big desalination plant, more recycling, uh, stormwater capture, water conservation, demand management, etc. They think uh, that should be looked at first. You needed a, a culture where people will listen respectfully to each other. And so if you're coming to the table saying water conservation is the be all and end all, or rainwater tanks are the be all and end all, then you're, close, you're not listening to other people's point of view. That's the problem. In my 20 or 30 years of um, planning for water systems, I've always found that unless you have that culture where people listen to each other, uh, you listen, you consider the evidence base very seriously and you think in terms of total societal benefits and costs, you're not going to get sustainable solutions. You can actually solve water problems by building stuff, which is putting money into it, but you can also solve water security issues and livability issues by integrating it with the physical planning of a city. And that sometimes doesn't cost you anything. Integrated water management is in terms of looking at water systems, looking at all options of water systems, but it's also integrating water systems with, with planning. So the, the biggest um, uh, crossover is water systems with the shape of the city and the planning and building style. But it's also integrated with energy, so there's a nexus between water and energy and that's part of the evaluation process. So, towing icebergs would not pass the energy, water energy nexus. <laughs> You've really got to start today. You can't afford to wait a day longer. <laughs>